we've shown you what a problem identity theft has become, but what about faking the identity of a car? K2's Tom Jensen's live outside a Newburgh business where police say it was common practice. So, Tom, detectives say the owner actually changed the IDs on these cars? It, with forged paperwork and little elbow grease, that's exactly what they say the owner of Integrity Auto Body and Auto Sales was up to here, making junk cars look like cream puffs on paper. Minutes after we arrived at Integrity Auto Body, employees began taping paper over the doors and windows. Once in a while, they peeked outside a slightly ajar door, but quickly closed it when I asked questions. Hi. They never talked. Well, they that beyond saying the owner, 41-year-old Stephen Gronley, would be back later. Gronley never showed up after appearing in Yamhill County Court accused in an elaborate illegal car sales scam. But a neighbor did talk, painfully chuckling about the name on Gronley's business. From what he dealt, how he dealt with us, I, I don't think it's a very integrous of him what he did. So, so the uh, the name Integrity Auto looks like you can say just about anything. Mark Lundgren says he bought a car from Gronley with what he was told were current and valid license plates. But he learned they were anything but valid when police stopped his son. When we, my son got pulled over with it and went to uh, court, they said the license plates didn't exist. They didn't have a record of where those plates came from. Newburgh and Dundee police say Gronley switched or altered vehicle identification number plates on junk vehicles and forged DMV records, including titles, before he sold cars. We decided to take a look for ourselves and we looked at all of these vehicles. Now, this is a good example of what police may have found in this rectangle right here. There should be a vehicle identification number, a plate with numbers on it that identifies what car this is, but there is no VIN number on this car. We showed a contractor who picks up Gronley's old oil, what we found, and what police say Gronley was up to. Does that surprise you? Yeah, it does. Really? Yeah. Why, why, what, what can you say about him? Can you say anything in his defense? He always seemed to be a pretty stand-up guy to me. You know, it's a straight shooter. Mark Lundgren, who says he bought that car with bogus plates on it, has a business right across the street. He says over the years he's seen between four and six salvage vehicles dropped off every week here, but he does not know how many of those were turned over and then resold. Police want to talk to anyone who bought a car from this business. Live in Newburgh, Tom Jensen, K2 News.